In this video, we're sharing everything you need to know about visiting and camping at Algonquin Provincial Park, Mew Lake Campground. Algonquin Provincial Park is home to maple hills, rocky ridges, and thousands of lakes. It's a 56 kilometer stretch along Highway 60 that hosts eight campgrounds. This is by far one of the biggest provincial parks in Ontario, and there will never be a moment where you don't have something to do. The Mew Lake Campground is located at kilometer 30.6 on the Highway 60 corridor, and it has access to modern camping amenities along with yurts. Algonquin Provincial Park has updated their check-in process to adhere to COVID-19 regulations. You can now check in directly online and you do not need to stop at the camp office upon arrival. Your electronic or pre-printed reservation is your permit and that's all you need so you can head straight to your site. If you have not pre-checked in online, you will need to park and head into the office to check in. All right, so normally the campgrounds that we go to are, or provincial parks that we go to are much smaller. So um, you'll, you'll see the kind of, uh, you'll see the camp store like right there, or there might not even be a camp store and you just grab whatever it is that they sell, usually ice and wood, uh, right at the check-in office. But Algonquin is gargantuan. So there's multiple check-in offices for each individual campsite. Um, they also don't operate, um, they, they, they don't sell ice and they partner up with stores like this that sells ice in the park itself. So this is where you get ice for Mew Lake. It's Lake of Two Rivers and there's a restaurant here too. And bike rentals if you are interested. Oh hey look, somebody is coming back with the ice. And a sticker. And a sticker, how much is it? What, thicker? No, the ice. Oh, uh, $10, $5 each, I think. Mule Lake Campground is split into almost three different sections. Over on the right-hand side, you'll find the campsites that are closest to Highway 60. These campsites do boast lakefront views. However, highway traffic noise can be heard when you're camping on these sites. We personally stayed at Site 81 and didn't find the traffic noise to be too disturbing. In the middle section, you'll find the campsites with electricity and these have a standard trailer hookup. This is also the section that is closest to the comfort stations. These sites are a lot larger and a lot less private. The last section of Mule Lake Campground is your radio free area. Pets are not permitted in the section and you cannot have any radios, stereos, televisions or other devices that will make loud noise. We found that overall the campsites themselves are quite large and not as private as other parks we've been to, but because they're large they give you the opportunity to arrange your site in a way that will give you privacy. We also love the tree coverage on our site because we were able to hang a hammock and really sit back and relax. Mule Lake Campground has only one comfort station. The rest of the campground has Volt toilets available. The comfort station has flushable toilets and showers available for use. Mule Lake does have a small sandy beach area, but dogs are not permitted. There is a roped off section of the lake for swimming. However, you can swim past that section or directly off your campsite if you have a lakefront campsite. If lakes are not your thing, this is probably not a good spot for you to swim. We personally did not find the water to be as clean as we like it to be, so we didn't do a lot of swimming in Mew Lake. Algonquin Provincial Park is full of nature and trails. If you're looking to stay close to Mule Lake Campground, you can access the old railway bike trail directly from the campground. There's also a bike rental and repair shop at the Lake of Two Rivers store. 
If you're looking for other options though, we highly recommend heading out of Mew Lake Campground and choosing a trail or lake to visit. We personally did two different hikes. Almost directly across the street from Mew Lake Campground, you'll find Two Rivers Trail. This is a 2.3 kilometer loop trail and it's really easy with a nice cliff top view. We also drove a little bit further down Highway 60 to Beaver Pond Trail. Here we were able to walk around a beaver pond and hopefully try and see a beaver. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see one, but the trail was still worth it. All right, we are coming at you with our Algonquin Provincial Park final thoughts as we drive home for a four and a half hour drive. So Andy, what is your Algonquin Provincial Park final thoughts? Worth it. I think it's worth it. Uh, it. It's too bad that one, it is so far away. Two, they don't take walk-ins. And well, three, it's so popular. Um, it would be great if we can just skip out here for a weekend, but no, because it's super far. Um, because it's so popular, and also they don't take walk-ins, it also eliminates any chance for us to be spontaneous about our trips. And last but not least, there's no crown land here, so we can't just park it somewhere, which is unfortunate. But totally worth it though. Highly recommend it if you do have the chance to come and check out Algonquin Park. It's totally giving me the BC vibes, I've said this before, it really reminds me of home. So is there any other positives? Because you just listed a lot of negatives. Sorry, what? What did you say? I said, is there any other positives? You just you said you liked it, but then listed a bunch of negatives. Well, okay, so the positive is, it's really one giant positive. It's the uh, environment that you are in. Um, very much uh, out in nature, but you're still, you're still, you still, have access to all your uh, amenities, so that's really nice. They're really organized um, uh, in the park. We didn't have to do this little like ticket thingy um, to put on your dash because everything is computerized. It's the, it's the first for us for a uh, parking, provincial park camping experience. And there's also that vlogging museum, which is super awesome. Um, it's free if you are already uh, staying here, so. All right, so I would tend to agree. Um, this is probably one of the nicest provincial parks we've been to. I have always known that Algonquin is super popular, and like Andy said, we don't usually trek out this far just because it is a far drive for us just for like a weekend, uh, and it is really hard to get a campsite here. However, there is a never-ending list of trails that you can hike um there's um biking trails that you can uh ride. bike as well ride <laughs> ride and uh there's like a lot of lookouts and lakes and uh things to see it's like really just outdoorsy nature like andy said gives us that bc vibe um you've got like overgrown lush forest here with pine trees and evergreens which is pretty different from what you see in Southern Ontario parks. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice. I will mention this is bear and moose country. We have yet to see a bear or a moose, but there is bear and moose here. Um, so always be careful in, in any case when you're camping, just be careful. Um, but yeah, I think next time we come back, we'll probably try a different campground. So Algonquin Provincial Park has many campgrounds. We stayed at Mew Lake, which I think is one of the lesser popular ones. We personally didn't mind it. Um, the, the lake is definitely not nice and I think that's what makes it less popular. Um, some of the other campgrounds have like way bigger lakes that are not as like stagnant and kind of gross-ish. Seaweedy. Seaweedy. Sure, we'll go with that. Seaweedy. So yeah, not too bad. But that pretty much wraps up our uh, five-day Algonquin Provincial Park long weekend trip. Uh, stay tuned for all of the vlogs, I guess. And enjoy some of this driving scenery.